What's up YouTube, Everything Apple Pro here and after a long wait the unlock for iOS 4.2.1 or 4.1 for the iPhone 3GS and iPhone 3G's base bands 5.14.02 and the new 5.15.04 is finally here. Now it does not, it is not that easy guys, it comes with a lot of downsides. One being you lose your warranty for your iPhone, so if you send it in for repair, you're getting denied. You're not getting repaired. Two is that it updates your baseband to the one from the iPad, and iTunes doesn't even know that you have it, or Apple doesn't know that you have it, so you cannot restore to an official firmware in iTunes. So you will have to wait until maybe iOS 4.3 comes out with a higher baseband than 6.15.00. So basically you're getting your baseband updated to an iPad one, which is 6.15.00, which is crackable, unlike this one. And you will not be able to restore to an official firmware. And if the risks are worth it, guys, go, you can go ahead and follow through. It does work. I can confirm it does work. It takes a little bit, but um, here we go, you guys. So to get started, you will need a few things. One, make sure your device is updated to the newest 4.2.1 in iTunes. Mine is on 4.1, and I'll be right back as soon as it updates. Also, before we get started, one more thing. This is a tethered jailbreak for the iPhone 3GS new boot ROM, and I'll put a link right here for a fix when your Cydia is crashing and all iPhone 3GS new boot ROM users will need to watch the link somewhere right there. Okay now that it's updated there are a couple of things that we need. One is we need the Red Snow 0.9.6 Beta 5 which can be found here at the Dev Team blog which with links down here for Red Snow for Windows and if you're on a Mac you can select that one or you can you can watch my Mac video right here with Ponage tool but besides that you will need 4.2.1 firmware after you update all the way and you'll need the iPad 3.2.2 firmware as well so once you've got those things let's begin so once your iPhone is updated to 4.2.1 you will get this screen unless you are legit which you shouldn't be doing this jailbreak at all but I just thought I'd, I wouldn't activate it and leave it like this so we can proceed with a jailbreak now you will open up Red Snow 0.9.6 beta 5 and browse for your 4.2.1 firmware and it'll process it for a bit you will click next and it'll patch the kernel and in just a moment it'll be done and here um, of course you'll have install Cydia and if you want any of these like battery percentage home screen or multitasking you can select them but um, I really don't need them of course a boot logo all we're going to be doing if you want to unlock you will click on install iPad baseband and click yes and if you want you can read that it'll tell you all the risks um, I let you know already but once you've done that click next so now we're turning off the iPhone and we're gonna power it off and in just a second here I'll be right back once your device is off simply uh, click next we're gonna begin by holding the power button then combining it with the home button and then letting go of the power button and keep holding the home button but just follow the instructions here we go so we will click next and hold the power button for three, two, one. Now hold the home button together for ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Let go of the power button and keep holding the home button. Now your device will go into DFU mode right now, and Red Snow will recognize it, and you'll be able to tell in just a second. There you go. So it is finding your iPad baseband files which you placed on your desktop or wherever but it will take a while guys um, I'll be right back as soon as it's done alright so ha it has finished uploading the iPad files remember to keep them on your desktop it does take a little bit maybe two minutes to find them but in the end it does and I'm gonna stick with you guys for the rest of the jailbreak I mean on jailbreak on the computer it takes a long time on the iPhone but 
I will be right back as soon as it's done. So if you see this on your iPhone, that means it's working perfectly and you've, you're good to go. Now in the meantime, I can actually help you out with something. If in Red Snow, you right click it, well actually when you're uploading RAM disk during your jailbreak and it freezes, you can right click Red Snow and run, run as administrator. And if that doesn't work, what you can do is go down to properties and click on compa compatibility tab and you can check run this program in compatibility compatibility mode sorry for Windows XP service pack 2 and that will hopefully fix the errors it does work for me but I will not run it because it works great without it and the last thing I can tell you is try it on a different computer if it does not if it still doesn't work doing those steps but I'll be right back guys once it's finished jailbreaking during the later part of the jailbreak you will notice that your iPhone screen has this and it's flashing the baseband so do not interrupt make sure you don't disconnect so that's perfectly normal guys be back in a minute so once red snow is finished uh, your device will reboot and you'll turn it on and you will have a Cydia icon now you'll need to get into it reload Cydia use a user you're a user so you'll select user when you first open it but your device is not unlocked yet so once you've got Cydia set up and once I do too I'll be right back and I'll show you what to do so once your Cydia is loaded and ready to go we're gonna go to manage sources edit well not we're not gonna add anything because it's already there repo 666.ultrasnow.com and if you don't have it just search for ultrasnow but go ahead and click on in and you will install Ultra Snow, which has been updated to 1.2 firmware, which works with the new 6.15.00 baseband, which you are updating your iPhone's baseband to uh, basically from the iPad. And you'll install it and confirm it. It'll ask you to reboot. And when you reboot, you might not get service right away. So you'll go into settings, you'll toggle on airplane mode, and then you'll toggle it off and it will search it will eventually find it. if that doesn't work reboot it um, but yeah you guys in the end it should work I have tried it it does work um, really really appreciate you guys rating my video it took a lot of work and a lot of time for you to make it and please uh, go ahead and leave me a comment if you have any questions or if you're having any trouble I'll try to answer it and go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already but thanks a lot you guys I really appreciate it and have fun with the new online